All right, folks. So right now we're going to go through the process of getting started with Unreal. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is actually sign in to unrealengine.com. That means creating an account. And uh, basically, you can see even just from the front page here that uh, they're basically advertising everything you can kind of do. No, everything that you can do with Unreal. That means $19 a month plus 5% of your net. That comes with the full engine and source. So if you were to click on this guy, the first thing you would do is say, well, create your account. Clearly, you have no account. Uh, and also explains everything else along with the EULA and some system requirements and whatnot. So, I, however, do have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Once you get in, you're going to want to go to the uh, download here for Mac. Now, you would normally download, click download. I've already downloaded, so you can find that here. And once you double-click on the file, it's going to, in typical OSX uh, app style, it's going to basically provide you with this little simple process of installing. Just drag and drop into your applications and let go. And uh, I've already done this, so there's no need for that. Um, you can then, through your launcher, just uh, through Spotlight, Command Space, put in Epic, and it should go to the game's launcher, which I already have running, so hooray for that. It's just, uh, all right. Now, when you first come in, what you may notice, however, is that uh, you're not going to have the Unreal Editor come up at first. You're just going to see um, probably no engine installed here if it's your first time and you're following along. I already have something installed, but uh, what you can do is go to your library down here, and here you'll see engines to install. Uh, I can actually add. You can have multiple versions of the engine installed. Uh, why you would want to do that is something a little bit more intricate. And uh, if you don't really know why you would want different versions, just pick the latest version you can help. Um, I would steer clear of any previews or release candidates or anything like that because there may be bugs involved, and especially to uh, the new developer or someone who's new to game design or you know, programming in general, uh, I would steer clear. Just um, for now, at the time of this recording, 461 is the latest released, so stick with that. And you can either click here on launch, but once this is installed, you will see this pop up here at the top at any time anyway. So uh, when we click on launch, we'll put this window over here. And it's going to take a couple of seconds, but here we go. And voila. All right, let me maximize this. Okay. So here is where you will have projects that you've created. Uh, mostly cleared out a lot. So uh, these last two I just haven't gotten around to. Um, you can also choose down here to always load the last project on startup to spare yourself from having to do that uh, reload. And here's where you're probably going to find yourself getting started. Now, if you're not a developer, if you don't know what code really looks like or is, you're going to want to steer clear of this tab right here. They're basically the same thing on each tab, except that they set up the project to either be a C++ project, where you're going to be diving into code primarily, not necessarily the editor. But Blueprint is basically uh, assuming that you're going to be more heavy on the editor and using Blueprints instead. Uh, I recommend that, especially if you're not into uh, doing C++ development, you stick to this tab here. Now, uh, you can choose a blank project, which is always an okay way to start, but they also have provided a couple of templates. Now, aside from these templates, you can also choose down here whether or not if you're really designing this for a desktop or console versus a mobile or tablet, as well as the uh, maximum quality to output towards versus scalable or 2D. And finally, there is starter content. Starter content is basically going to say, hey, uh, would you like us to put in some pre-created meshes and things and the like. Chances are, if you're going with any of these templates, you may want to also include the starter content. I would also recommend if you're on a laptop or uh, something that's more low power, you may want to change this to scalable 3D or 2D, especially if you're going for mobile. But, uh, you know, you can suit yourself. All these varieties can be uh, selected at your uh, any way you like. Now, I like to put my stuff into a pro folder called Projects. Unreal. And this project, we will call it... Um, I'll just call this break through. That's the name of the game that I want to work on. And actually, you know what? I'm going to be gearing this more towards mobile and tablet in the long run anyway. You know what? Let's just keep it all from scratch. We're going to start blank, play from there. So let's just create our project. And voila! All right, we're in. So, uh, all right. uh, th this isn't going to be a tutorial about actually how to work within uh, Unreal, but as you can see, it is working. A little bit chuggy, i got to admit, my laptop's starting to show its age, and I'm probably running a couple extra things I shouldn't. Um, but yeah, there we go. We have started our uh, project and uh, breakthrough, and here we are. So, happy days. Now, before I close, I just want to also show you that um, if you ever want to stop working with Unreal, uh, and you want to stop getting charged $20 a month, you can just come back to this main page, and right here in your plan details, uh, in the, on the dashboard here, as you can see, just cancel subscription. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to bother with that, but uh, there you go. And uh, you'll be set to go. They also have access to their Twitter account and other links for support and whatnot. But, um, yeah, I also recommend looking into IRC uh, chat uh, clients to see if that's helpful. But everything you really need to get started should be right here. And um, so 
on with the adventure.